I like planes. I like boats. I like planes. I like boats. But what if I want that boaty plainness in one? <laughs> oh no! I like planes and I like boats. These are the words that Xyla Foxlin will say every morning. So anyway, it's YouTube makers secret Santa time. Yes, load of makers all grouped together. We all make stuff for each other. We've been done it for like three years in a row now. This year, I have Xyla Foxlin. Now, she lives in LA. That's gonna cause me problems later. And basically, you know, from her videos, She's made a boat before, and I know she's got a pilot's license from her social media stuff. So, I have a plan. Okay, unfortunately, we're not making a flying boat because it is the 6th of December. These videos are supposed to go on the 18th of December. I have to post whatever I make to Los Angeles. I haven't made it yet. Oh yes, I'm behind. Right, so what I'm thinking, boats have oars. We know boats have oars. Planes have propellers. But boats can sort of have propellers as well in the term of props, you know, outboard motors. So, so I'm thinking we'll put propellers or outboard motor things in the oars. Genius furs. Now I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Cause obviously when you're in a boat, you push the oar into the water and then you pull against the water and push the boat forward. But if the oar is trying to push itself through the water, does the oar just try and get out of your hands and disappear? I don't know. But I can't think of anything better, so let's make it. Okay, I've hit Simply Bearings hard. It's where I get all my bearings chains and gears from. This is not sponsored, they're just a nice company. So anyway, I think I'm gonna go with this chain, which is like six mil chain. So what I'm thinking, Colin, why have you bought chain? Well, basically, or propellers set in there, chain around the shaft with a cog on it, down through the um, the pole, the awry thing, and then to some sort of central hub where there will be a motor, some, some gears and stuff that will spin them both. So they will both go round off the one motor. Right, so I'm gonna get all this set out, make myself some little templates, do a little design. Just get on with it, Colin. It's half ten now. You guys got to get on with it. Have a pint, have a walk with my takeaway cup. This is part of the friendly water berries. Dave, what do I call this? What is this? Xyla's arm slashing, hair tangling, super paddle. Oh, middle bit. Right, that's the centre bit. Now, this middle cog, which is just over a bolt at the moment, that'll be on a shaft, which will be attached to whatever power source we choose. Now, this chain goes up and over it, back and forth it, and then you can see if I pull it, look, if the chain's nice and tight, it should go across the top of it and then pull back underneath it in equal amounts and therefore spin in the propellers at each end. Now the chain itself will slide down, tube. This is gonna be noisy, Colin. Yes, it is. And then they'll go into these slots like that. Both ends, that's that. Right, there's another plate gonna go on the top of that and then I have gotta weld them onto the things and hope that I can get to everything. <laughs> so many complications. <laughs> Right, that's welded on. Can't get to them cogs very easily now. Check. Right, the ends, propellers. Now, I've started as off look. I've put some little thicker plates on the end. I've welded them on and then whatever we make, we can then bolt onto that. And if it's wrong or breaks, we can then unbolt it so we don't have to grind it off or cut it off or anything like that. Right, so the ends, about that. This is my concept, people. Yes, we still need something that resembles a paddle, even though we've got our propeller. So I've made this. Obviously, it's got to have a lot of holes in it or else you're just propellering against your paddle. Bolt this on here, chain comes out, round axle, axle O spinny, but because it's a little bit floppy, I'm gonna put like a secondary one, which will slide on, bolt through it, stick it off, make it double skin like the middle bit, it'll be a bit stiffer. Yes. Okay, that's got it all together. 
That was a nightmare. Now then, it's all connected up, it spins round, it both go around in the same direction, of course, which is good. Now, in the middle, I had to shave a bit off the gears, which was a complete pain, so I had to try and get them out. And I ended up, in the end, like plasma cutting some of my own spanners out of some 1.2mm steel to be able to get down and slot them in. But anyway, it's all good. Now, the chain is tensioned by these little slots here, so basically you put it all together, and then just pull the whole thing back and tighten it up. That is good. Now, next thing we need to consider, Colin, is the power source. So anyway, I thought, right, what did I think? Right then, so I was thinking, we're on a nice motor that's got power and got speed. I've always found this quite a tricky thing to get hold of, and I thought, well, wait a minute, why don't we do something that she might already have? And I was thinking, drill. She'll have a drill, won't she? I don't think a drill's fast enough. For, well, I know I got a bit, a bit quicker. Grinder! <laughs> Oh, gone a bit quick. <laughs> I think we'll use a grinder. We've got no choice. Right, let's somehow rig up a grinder on this thing and then see how much of a laceration machine I have produced. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Well, I have noticed, and this is all starting to look a bit big and a bit heavy. I, I don't think she's that big, you know. No, I think it'll be all right. She's not that small. I've seen her stood next to a rocket. She's pretty tall, actually. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Right. So the thing happened here. <laughs> if that sound does not translate onto video, that is like belt of knives times <laughs> ten. I don't, I don't even think that's full belt. I think I can manage this. Right. This sounds absolutely horrific and everything, but does it actually work? Okay, here we are in December down the river, it's freezing! Right, I've rigged up like this really crude trigger system. I've put a drill on it just for the time being. I'm gonna give that a test first. Right, I'm gonna put my coat back on, we'll have a go. The only, the only thing I've got to attach the actual GoPro to is the oar. So the footage for this might be a little bit wobbly. Immediately I'm returning to this one. That's not a good, oh, I've dropped it. Oh. Why did I build something that goes in the bloody water in December? <laughs> oh no, this is a design problem. The chain is bringing water up and dropping it in my... Oh no, I've got a wet... <laughs> there is so much wrong with this. But it sort of works in a weird way. I mean, it spins me around in circles. I've now got a wet... <laughs> Just thinking about this, I'd be better thing the other way round. We need to do this. <laughs> and now the trigger's all wrong. Oh God, this is terrible. <laughs> Bloody shoot. Oh. <laughs> right, right. Do you know what? I think this actually works. This is working. If it wrong, let's stick the angle grinder on it because this thing's a the batteries are dying and it's not as fast as it could be. Right, god, this is <laughs> can't feel my hands. Let's get back in the old boat, right? And people, <laughs> oh my god, check this out. Oh my God, I'm so bloody wet. The grind is not quite powerful enough in terms of it spins too fast and hasn't got the torque, but the paddle does work. Okay, we do have some success here. It's kind of work. Well, not today. I've had enough. Now, despite getting freezing cold and soaking wet, there is some potential in this. Basically, the grinder spins very fast. It's not quite got the torque it needs to. As soon as you put it in the water, it basically stops. And the drill wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go back for another attempt with some proper clothing on and a better drill with a bigger battery on. Right, back again. Look like I'm searching for dead bodies, but at least I'll be dry. Come on. This is gonna work. Here we go, people. Oh, 
This is working. It's got it in, look. It will. Literally work like an outdoor boat and spin you around. Oh my god, it's actually a high sea. <laughs> Back to the workshop. We may not have invented a new extreme sport, but there is potential in this. If you got the right motor, built it into the center, fixed it in properly so it don't spin around and smack you in the head, put the batteries either side of it so you can hold the thing properly and it wasn't quite so heavy, I think there'd be a bit of potential here. Now, we ain't got time to do that because this video has got to go on the internet tomorrow and obviously clearly I'm not going to get all that done. Now, Colin, if it's going on the internet tomorrow, aren't you supposed to be sending this to Zyla? Yes, I am. But I did decide, well, a few days back now, that this is probably not the best thing to just hand over to somebody for them to try with all the spinning blades of doom and potential lacerations. I've made her something else and sent that in tribute to this. This is a dedication to her and her love of planes and boats. You'll have to go and see what the other gift is. I thought it was a lovely and wonderful gift, but now I've thought about it and I've looked at it since, it does look a bit kinky. So you'll have to go and make your own minds up. Hmm. But this is YouTube Maker's Secret Son. It's not just about what I'm making for other people. People have made for me as well. And I have mine here, let's undo it. Okay, it's from Emily the Engineer. Now I know this, because it says here on the box who it's from. Now this will be interesting. She is like a Marvel addict. She does a lot of stuff with Iron Man suits. She's made her own Iron Man suits and stuff. So I'd be quite interested to see what this is. Righty ho. Uh -huh. Got notes. Colin, Merry Christmas. I know you often enjoy wearing neckties. So I thought I'd make you a device to make putting them on a little more interesting. So it is a tie launcher for launching ties onto me. It's what you gotta like about YouTube Maker Seat Center. You just never know what you're gonna get. But it's very well wrapped. Oh, you star, Emily, look. She's even got the old safety tie warning triangle on there. Right, she's advised I try it with a mannequin first. So I've got Mrs. Yellow here. Now it's got a little laser pointer on the top, so it's put like a little dot where you want to follow the tie. I like it. Right, let's put a little COT cartridge in the back, which is what it's powered by, and give it a test. Here we go. Ah, oh, I'll stand in front of that. Right, never mind, Mrs. Thing. Come on, first tie to the face. By the way, Emily, this gets a thumbs up from me. Right, so I need to take my tie off. Collars up, collars up, ready to accept. Come on, tie me. I've no idea if that nearly got me at all. <laughs> oh, that's so close. Yeah! <laughs> Look, it works! It actually works! Fantastic. Ah. Oh. That is brilliant. Right, now of course, YouTube make a secret sound. The whole point, the whole reason we do this is so you can go on your little course, going from one video to another. So you can either go backwards, you can go and see how Emily made this, or you can go forwards and go and see what Zyla's has made and go and see her reaction to her non-present. Because I've kind of <laughs> I've kind of failed a little bit this year. But anyway, we don't think it was it, but anyway. So Go on the trail. I think there's 10 of us in it this year. You know, the reason why I do this is to try and spread the love to all the other makers. So just go and check them all out. Things like this, absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching. Hope you've had a good year. See you next year, where of course, there is more tunneling to do. We've got a car park, we're gonna connect it to the bunker, and there's all sorts of things to do at the farm as well. Boom! Yeah! <laughs>